welcome back to my channel for those who are new my name is Essa and I'm so glad to have you guys here so today I am doing a different kind of a video so I told you guys that I am really in love with hauls and I decided to do a haul of something that is a bit close to my channel as well so I decided to go and uh, find try and find some home decor items that I could get for really really cheap because I haven't bought any home decor for a really really long time because I felt like maybe it would be too expensive like sometimes you just see something really nice and you're thinking it's 1000 or 2000 or 3000 so you're thinking you just don't want to buy just that one item so I decided I was going to find really cheap items that I could still use and that are still good so I found an ex-USA shop near me so what goes on in an ex-USA shop is they bring stuff from America and then you also have XUK which they bring stuff from UK and these are basically things that are used but they are still in good condition and can still be used in your home uh, the good thing is that because they are used they sell them for really really cheap but that doesn't mean that you get bad things it just means that they are used but they are, it's just the same way it's uh, Mtumba home decor because just the same way you buy Mtumba clothes you shouldn't feel fishy about buying Mtumba home decor so um, as you have seen in the title, most of these things were 100 shillings and um, the whole, all the items I bought came up to 1,000 Kenya shillings because I went there with a budget of 1,000 and I said that no matter what happens, I was not going to go above 1,000 even if I didn't get anything, I was going to come back home and try and find somewhere else to shop so luckily, I got quite a number of items and yeah so to start with i'll just show you guys one by one to start with i i got this small jar that has this wire that you can hang it with and for what uh, uh, cool a job oh so i'm talking to zaria here's zaria say hi hi <laughs> so i uh, yeah when I watch TV, we must have cooler. I know my little food. So, I know my little food. I love food. So, as I was saying, my first item was this jar that was seventy-five shillings, and um, so the only thing that I find, I feel like with this, I would just have to spray paint this, um, to this car handle. Um, because it's a bit rusted. I don't know if you guys can see. It's a bit rusted So it's just a matter of spray painting, but other than that, it's okay. Another thing is it feels like it might have had a lead I'm not so sure, but either way, it's not a problem. I still liked it. I felt like I could use it as a candle holder for small tea light candles or I could use it for like Royco cubes or something Wow you <laughs> know so the next item I got was this this was also 75 shillings and this I still don't know what I'm going to do with it but I just felt like it was really really cute and I like that it has a lid I liked the pattern of it I really liked it it's really heavy and nice so I'll just figure out what to do with it and hopefully once I put all these things in place, I will be able to do another video showing you guys how they look in the house. And uh, yeah, so those are the the first, the cheapest items in uh, for 75 shillings. Then the next item I got was this, um, I'm guessing, I don't know. I don't know, I honestly don't know what it is, but what I had in mind for it was a small kind of a vase. Because of late, I have no idea why, but I've just been falling in love with candles and flowers. And I wanted something that is quite different to display flowers. So, yeah, I, when I got this, I felt like I could do something nice with it for flowers. So, yeah, so this is just a simple, I like the shape, it's quite different. And it was seven, no, it was 100 shillings. So this was 100 bob and uh, next after that I got candles so as you can see these candles are 
partly used like there's a small section over here that is missing which i am not too worried about because when i wanted when i saw these candles i wanted them not to light them but to use them as decor so i'll just wipe this top part um with probably a wet hot a hot wet towel so i just melt this part off and then i can do something with it um it's not scented so that's why i wasn't really concerned about lighting it i just wanted them as deco so i bought two and i really like i felt like i was really lucky to get two, two that were matching because in these stores you you basically get one or two but you never get more than two so yeah i'm really excited that i got these two candles which hopefully i will show you guys what i do with them uh yeah so if i haven't said the candles are each 100 shillings so you guys can tell me if nimegongwa or if it's a deal because i haven't like i've said i haven't done home shopping in a really really long time so if you guys know a place another place where i can get stuff for this cheap just let me know i might have been just hiding in my house and kumbe home decor outside here is cheap so yeah you guys recommend places the next item I got were these bowls. Uh, so I decided I wanted to use this for decoration as well uh, in my living room. I just wanted to find out what I will put inside and then I can be able to use them. But I was thinking if I could get um, plastic petals, that would be really good. Uh, yeah, so it's just a matter of shining and it would look brand new. And I really liked this because the quality is really good. It's very heavy. Uh, it's there were two of them, so I like that I could have one on two on or one each one a different side of the living room. So yeah, um, they were both one hundred each. So that's two hundred for the two of them. And yeah, I really like. As you, I don't know if you guys can see this sticker. But it's what I was saying of buying stuff that is goodwill. So yeah, 100 again. Uh, most of the items that I got were actually 100. Because I, I wanted to get good things that I like. But I wasn't spending so much on. And then the next item is this. I really fell in love with this. Uh... Because I had, I had been seeing on Pinterest like small vases that are this shape but they were only glass so I thought that um, I really liked it because it was different from everything that I have been seeing because this has the wooden part and the glass part and the shape is just really nice so excuse me so I felt like I really couldn't live without this and this was actually the most expensive thing that I got. And by most expensive, it's so much cheaper than so many other things. Because it was 150 shillings. Imagine going shopping for home decor. And the most expensive thing you walk away is 150 shillings. So, yeah, uh, I really like it. And once again, when I put it to good use, I will definitely, definitely show you guys. So for the last item of the day, items was something that I was so happy to see. Like I saw I saw these things and I was like Nimungu because I have wanted these things for so long. Watching videos on YouTube and seeing these American YouTubers who have DIY channels or home decor channels buying these things, I usually felt like guy, where will I get mine? And probably they are in Kenya. I just was not in the mood of going to an expensive store to look. So yeah, I was really excited that I got these frames, these glass frames that have the gold lining on the outside and the hanging. So I felt like you can put this to two good uses and I will still debate on how to use that. So I decided, um, yeah, so I decided to get these and there were two of them. So this is the other one. So I would either just put them to use like this and just hang on my wall because I wanted to have a gallery wall behind me of different things. So I would probably just put um, writing or something. But then I also thought that I could use it as a booklet 
because it does open up so i was thinking that i could um stick the pictures behind and just have it placed somewhere open so yeah that would also be something good to think about but i saw that they both have this kind of thing but i have been trying to remove it and it's actually coming off really easily without damaging or leaving behind anything so i'm going to decide and once i decide i will let you guys know so i don't know if i've said the price if i have just forgive me for repeating myself but these were each a hundred shillings so yeah if you can't tell like i'm really really excited to have bought so much like for such a cheap price if you know somewhere else where i can get this kind of frames for just 100 bob let me know let let me know so that i can go and check out that place or if you have anywhere where you know home decor is usually very very cheap just let me know and i'll be able to run there and we can see what we can get from those places so yeah these are the last items and in total the items are 10 even though there are some that are in pairs individually they come to 10. so imagine going to a home decor store and buying 10 items and not exceeding 1000 kenya shillings for me that is just amazing like it has officially made me an addict of this x x uk and x usa shops so yeah i'd advise you to run to the nearest x us or uk shop near you and just try and find some hidden gems for yourself because there were so many nice things and it's just that i didn't want to exceed my budget and i also didn't want to buy really big things because i wanted to get as many things as i could get but next time i'll probably just go and get maybe two or three items because there were some really nice vases that were just unique and like i was i was in love i spent like two hours there because i was so in love with everything and i wish i could vlog for you guys but it's a really small store like you can't stand two people like this like back to back or front to front you have to be one person so i didn't feel like invading everyone's privacy by vlogging but hopefully next time when i go it will be empty and i can vlog for you guys so before i forget this store is actually in donholm it is right um not exactly opposite but it is opposite uh greenspan mall so for anyone who lives in donholm if you're opposite greenspan mall the place where the entrance for phase eight just after like going towards the houses it's on that car building it's called i've really forgotten it's it's jossal collections i think i've honestly forgotten but once i find out the name i will put it in the description box for you guys anyone who's interested in visiting because i would advise you guys to go and uh yeah so anyone who lives in Dunham just head on there they have really nice stuff and uh, unfortunately i didn't get the number there were so many people being served that i just felt like once my time was done i just wanted to be out of there so yeah that was it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video i hope you enjoyed knowing that other than diy like that not everyone can pull off a diy really well so for those who can't pull off a diy i hope you know that you can get um home decor for cheap and you don't have to buy everything in this at the same time as long as you know that there's somewhere where today nikona so so i'll just go see what i can find and come back home with it and have something that is actually of great value to you and will beautify your space um i hope that i've uh, taught you to just be able to look forward to such occasions so like I said, if you know anywhere else that is cheap, please let me know in the comment section and I can visit that place and tell me what you guys think about the prices so that I can know come on in Megongwa or it's a deal. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And uh, um, hopefully I'll see you guys on Sunday. So thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.